Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com and I'm here at the new MacBook Air. This is the model that was announced at WWDC on Monday, June 10th. It's uh, being called the mid-2013 MacBook Air or the MacBook Air 6,2 if you use Apple's notation. The, the model I'm testing out right now is the 13 inch. So uh, that means it is to, uh, starts at 1099. That's with 128 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM, and uh, Intel's HD 5000 graphics. This is the uh, 1.3 gigahertz dual core, Core i5 Haswell chip. The, uh, the Haswell being the big upgrade in this model over the 2012. The, uh, from the hardware side, you can see this is basically Apple standard 13 inch MacBook Air. The, uh, the design on the exterior was not changed at all with this model. It's you know slim and gorgeous and something like three pounds, uh, which is pretty impressive. The changes, I guess there were really three big changes for this one. There's the uh, Haswell chip inside, so all new Intel CPU. That also means uh, new graphics. It uses the HD 5000 as opposed to the HD 4000. The, uh, so that's the first change. The second big change is the battery was battery has grown from the previous model. The uh, old model used a 6700 milliamp hour battery, while this one has moved over to uh, a 7150 milliamp hour. Basically, uh, if you use Apple's numbers, the, this model is good for 12 hours. So basically, it's an all-day computer, where the old one was uh, Apple rated at nine hours, which is still very good. And the, uh, the final big change is this model uses uh, PCIe-based flash storage as opposed to SATA based. So uh, theoretically this one has a 45% faster connection, but uh, in real life the, the performance doesn't seem to be usually different. Speaking of performance, I ran uh, Geekbench on this earlier today, and I'll see if I have the numbers, yeah. So this model for me, again this is the uh, 1099 model, 128 gigabytes of flash storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and the 1.3 gigahertz dual core chip. Uh, this model scored a 6062 for me, which is pretty solid for an Ultrabook style machine. The uh, the main issue with this, if you want to call it that, is that the gain from with this model, the 2013 model, over the 2012 model was uh, pretty small. The uh, 2012, uh, according to uh, Geekbench or Primate Labs numbers was 6029, so 6029 versus 6062. So we're in the single percentage difference there. The uh, If you're curious about getting the upgraded chip, that's the 1.7 gigahertz Haswell, which will uh, set you back the 1099 plus $150 upgrade fee. The uh, score is expected to be around 7,097. So uh, that'll help out with you getting some extra clock rate in there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much my rundown of the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, a lot of this is pretty standard stuff. It is, it is lightning fast. This is a great system. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. A lot of people, other, a lot of other people are as well. The, uh, the new battery is a big deal, it'll help out. Uh, Haswell is not huge on the performance front. We're looking at, like I said, you know, between like a five and 10% performance bump on most applications, but the, uh, the battery life is, uh, is gonna be really good. So that's great. The, it's worth pointing out that this display is not a retina display. This is the standard MacBook Air display that we all have gotten used to. It runs at 1440 by 900, so no change there. The uh, you know the storage was bumped, the RAM stayed the same, graphics were bumped, the chips are better, but the display is staying the same for now. Uh, hopefully sooner or later, Apple will show us some new MacBook Pros. That way, uh, if you are in need of a Retina display, you'll be able to upgrade <clears throat> to a 2013 system. Anyway, so that's it. This is Sal Congeloso from geek.com with the mid-2013 MacBook Air. It's a really solid system. I've only had my hands on it for a few hours now, but uh, I've really enjoyed it. Not a huge upgrade from the 2012 model, so don't go ahead and throw out your current MacBook Air, 
but uh, if you are in the mood or you are needing an ultrabook style system or something highly portable, you can't go wrong with the MacBook Air.